Yeah, went up to uh, Baidal where the Australians used to be. They thought we were there to save them. They thought the whole world had changed because, uh, and, and it, obviously the Australians had been there before us, but since then there wasn't any Australians. And as soon as we walked off the plane, the Doc and I, we were like kings, it was amazing. The, the people would stop and, and point and turn around and start running back towards the car, you know, where they were just lollygagging up the street. And I mean everybody, the entire town. And it just went through the place like wildfire. It was amazing. And I, it was then I really realised that they'd done an exceptional job. You know, uh, I know it was quite brutal up there for, for a stage, so they've sorted the bad guys out and they won the people over. So this, this, the troops that were up there that were in charge of that area, Bodoa, they should be the people that we take all the training from because they, they're the blokes that nailed it. To have that kind of reputation. And this is a key part of it, see, that I've always said, don't overstay your welcome. And, and we overstay our welcome sometimes and that's the thing that we shouldn't do. We should hand that part of it over because that's what we didn't do in Bidal. We didn't overstay our welcome. We were out of there when the, when the job was done and we're focusing in other places because hanging around just gets you... Slowly it turns against you and it gets more difficult and more difficult.